Nash County is blessed to have both the South Fork and the North Fork of the New River running through much of the county. The separate forks unite near the Virginia border. Despite its name, there's nothing new about the New River. Geologists say that it was here long before the Appalachian Mountains formed. It's said to be the oldest river in North America and the second oldest in the world. It's also unique for being one of the few rivers flowing north. The new was designated as an American Heritage River in 1998 by President Bill Clinton, who visited the county for the dedication ceremony, along with Vice President Al Gore. They held the ceremony in this field right behind me. Scenic and pastoral as it flows through Ash County, the New River features ripples, not rapids, which makes it a perfect river for family-friendly tubing and kayaking, along with fishing and other water sports. Its shallow, gentle waters and mild rapids are perfect for beginners, but even expert paddlers return again and again to experience the river's beauty and tranquility. The river and its associated lifestyle also attracts many who want a vacation or even a full-time home near its banks. A unique and beautiful river mountain environment, Ash County is a wonderful place to escape life off the mountain. The New River is an important Ash County resource and great effort goes into keeping it clean and pristine. Today, it attracts visitors from all over the world who want to experience and enjoy its stunning natural beauty. The South Fork of the New River, which rises from its headwaters in Watauga County, enters Ash County just below Todd. Although the river is a little narrow here, it's still a great place to float or fish. Anglers need to remember that you need a state fishing license to fish the New River. Overall, there's more activity on the South Fork of the New River than on the North Fork, largely because this is where most of the river outfitters are located. For a complete list of area outfitters, please visit ashchamber.com. Todd is a great place to access the new. If you've got your own tubes, canoes, and kayaks, you can easily park and access the river at Todd Island Park. As you float or paddle down the new, be on the lookout for creeks as they enter the river. This is a great place to dip your toes and fish for trout as they love the cool, icy waters flowing off the surrounding peaks. In accessing the New River, you do want to be aware and respect private property. Canoes, kayaks, and tubes can be launched from several bridges and roadways that cross the river. Entry can also be gained at two access points within the New River State Park. The first of these is Wagner Access, just off Highway 88. Besides easy river access, it offers picnic facilities, hiking trails, and walk-in camping only a few hundred feet from the parking area. Primitive canoe-in camping is also available nearby. Eleven miles downstream is the larger US-221 access. This park also offers great river views, camping, picnic facilities, and a handicapped accessible shelter. There's also a community building that accommodates up to 85 people with a meeting room, kitchen facilities, and restrooms. Reservations are required for renting this facility, which can be obtained by contacting the New River State Park Office. One of the things I really love about the US 221 Access Park is their fantastic visitor center that's open. Let's go and see what's inside. The visitor center offers an auditorium with a big screen, as well as a variety of interactive exhibits, including maps, animal tracks, forests around the New River Valley, local bird species, early culture, and conservation efforts. Besides the learning opportunities available at the visitor center, rangers hold regularly scheduled educational and interpretive programs about the New River State Park. Please visit ncparks.gov to learn more about the New River State Park and view an events calendar. While it's easy to focus solely on the larger South Fork of the New River, 
it would be at the expense of the equally beautiful North Fork. With its headwaters on Elk Knob, the North Fork meanders east and a little bit north, starting in the beautifully scenic Creston area of Ash County. The North Fork continues to flow for many miles, slowly growing in size. It features some great swimming holes, along with family-friendly floating and fishing opportunities. Just south of the Virginia border, in Grassy Creek, the North Fork finally merges with the South Fork, at an area known by locals as the Confluence. The joining of the two rivers at the confluence is a beautiful, majestic spot. If you enter the river here, however, please be very careful. The power of the two rivers coming together creates some strong currents. With the joining of the two forks, the new river instantly doubles in size before flowing into Allegheny County and then into Virginia and West Virginia before merging into the Ohio River, the Mississippi River, and finally ending in the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> 